Hey everybody, Dave here. Hope you're having an awesome day. So you tell me, does your brain work the same way mine does? Like, I'm walking through Target and I found this Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron toy and they're actually pretty cool. This is an ATST, but right away when I saw it, I just thought, oh, the paint job is like not quite right. It's really brown. I'll show you a close up, a close up of this in just a minute, but when I saw it, I thought, this needs to be fixed. Uh, and I'm just curious, do you guys think the same way? Like, I, I just can't let it be this way. So I think I'm gonna repaint this and maybe even make a little miniature diorama. So come on, let's fix this thing. All right, let's open this bad boy up. And yeah, the paint job is just awful on this thing, but these squadron toys are, are pretty nice. I like them. And one cool little bonus is they come with these little tiny mini figures. So um, I don't think I'm going to use it for anything on this build. But And another nice thing is this thing came totally apart. So this is going to make it really easy to paint. And it's got some really nice little flexible joints. That's where the little pilot goes there. I'm just kind of looking at this thing. And the guns right here, I don't love that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and snip that out. And so I went ahead and just took my little model snips, snipped that out. Did a little cleaning with some sanding and then i'm going to paint it with this bare kind of flat gray um, i could use a flat gray primer on this but i had this spray paint so i went ahead and used it and now i'm going to use this citadel known oil now i'm just doing a wash you could do this with shoe polish black liquid shoe polish but i had the known oil i love the known oil it's kind of my go-to i know there's a lot of people that make their own solutions so uh, you can look that up online and make some black washes, but this just works for me and I enjoy using it. So I'm kind of coating the entire thing, uh, even did like a second coat, take a paper towel, just wipe it down. And really with just gray primer and a black wash, you can see the difference here. You've got a really, really cool difference in the paint job already. And I haven't really done anything super complicated here. So this is kind of a video that I want to encourage you that you could do this. It's not that hard. All right, a little black paint to finish that off. And now I do recommend getting yourself a good wash if you're going to do a rusting effect. Take that brush, just hit it really lightly and nick it. Don't be afraid to use your finger to do some pulls and smears. It gives a really nice effect. And I'm just kind of laying this wash in some of the cracks. And again, dab that finger, pull, wipe swipe, <laughs> dab, do whatever you need to do. Um, you can see it really adds a nice effect. Now, don't be afraid to do this. I know it looks kind of intimidating, but it's actually not that hard. It's literally just being precise and a little bit mindful of where you're gonna put the wash. So here on the leg, I'm just kind of laying in and I'm thinking about like, where would oil and grease collect? Where would things kind of rust? And then this is just a fun little thing that I'm doing. You don't have to go this detailed, but I'm taking a little tiny bit of black paint and almost doing a little stippling. And what it's giving is the effect of maybe some little nicks and some wear and tear on the machine itself. So I did that on the side and then I did it on the front and I'll kind of work around the ATST just to add a little bit more attention to detail. But if you're intimidated by this, you don't have to do that. But I gotta paint those tips of those guns black. Now, this is kind of a fun little side note. This liquid chrome pen, I got this at a hobby store in Denver, and this is great for doing some just weathering on the edges. You could do this with silver paint or also a silver Sharpie marker. Um, now what I'm doing is adding just a little bit of battle damage and I'm actually just laying down a little bit of black paint. I'm being very careful, very precise. Take your time. You don't have to rush this. And then pull my finger and it just <laughs> smears. That sounded really weird. Pull my finger is not quite what I meant. But anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, just adding some additional weathering and highlighting to the edges with this chrome pen on the legs. And it takes a little bit of time, but it's not super complicated. So I think anybody can do this. And there it is with a, just a couple of simple washes. I have a really cool ATST, and I'm really, really digging this. Um, let's do like a quick little turnaround shot of this thing put together. 
Um, when I was looking at this, I noticed the base where the legs go on. I wanted that to be a little bit darker, so I did add an, just one more additional wash to that. But let's go to the base. Now, you don't have to build a base if you're kind of just trying this, but I get these little wooden bases at Hobby Lobby, a little bit of Mod Podge, some dirt from my backyard, and this is really simple. What I'm doing is I'm just dumping the dirt from my backyard, and we'll get that all in there, and I'll just take the tip of a paintbrush and mix that around. And it gives you this really nice textured goop that you can put down. And I'm going to cover the entire base with this. And before it dries, I've got some really nice texture. But this is just an extra little tip that I do. I have this um, tile grout from a project that I had. And I'm just going to sprinkle it on there. And it adds just a little tiny bit more texture. And this is literally a rock from my backyard. And then I had some extra two-part epoxy that I just took this rock, put some impressions into it, and made an extra rock just because I didn't want to go to waste. Putting a little bit of Mod Podge on the bottom of that rock. And that's almost going to work as a glue to hold that down. Now, this is actually still a little bit wet. So while it's wet, I'm going to take the ATST and just make a little impression just so I have a smooth place for that to fit. And then I'm going to take the rock that I made out of two-part epoxy. Got some Mod Podge on there. We'll kind of just place that. And I want this to be a super simple diorama that you feel like you could pull off. So I'm not making this super complicated. Taking a little bit of extra Mod Podge, adding that to the feet just so it has a little bit of texture. Taking this brown acrylic paint. Again, super cheap from the craft store. Less than a buck. And I'm going to paint the entire base brown first. Now, I want to show you up close the texture now that this is it's all dry and man, it is just really great texture. So um, take some dirt from your backyard and, and make it look cool. Now that the whole thing is painted brown, I want to give it a little bit of depth. So what I'm using here is some brown liquid shoe polish with a little bit of black paint mixed in it. You could probably just do this with the black wash and maybe a little bit of brown acrylic paint, but... For me, this is going to just darken up and, and make it look like a little mud. i got to paint those rocks. So I'm going to use this darker char charcoal color, and then I'll use this lighter gray. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with that lighter gray in just a minute. I'm going to take the darker gray first and just paint the rocks. And then take that lighter gray, load up your brush, and then just wipe out all the paint almost to where there's nothing left. In fact, I'm kind of laying it down, and I'm like, uh... I think I'm going to get a little bit more out. So take that out and now just lightly brush over the, the rock. And what happens is the highlights will catch the paint and where it's, you know, deeper in, it won't catch the paint and it gives you a really nice look. Now on the very front tip of that rock, it looked like it got a little too much, but as I kept working it and adding those dry brushed uh, strokes on there, it kind of blended in. So I feel pretty good about that. And there it is. I mean, that is a really nice clean diorama. I want to add a little bit of greenery to this. So I have this moss, and I did buy this grass uh, at my local gaming store. And I'm going to use a little bit of Elmer's glue. Now, when I'm putting the grass in, I'm taking the Elmer's glue, and I want to place it very strategically. I don't want to just, like, throw grass all over the place. So I'm trying to think through where kind of a couple little cool spots would be to have some greenery. I'm not going to make it super complicated, but I just take a pinch of that, sprinkle it in. And I did that in a couple little spots. And then I'm taking these little tufts of grass. They're actually from like Warhammer games, but they work pretty nice. And I've tried making some of these in the past. I've used grass for my backyard and stuff, but these are just way simpler. So if you're up to it, maybe a little bit of investment, not a horrible idea. And they look pretty great. Now the finishing touches, this is what I normally do on all of my projects, is I'm just going to paint the base black. And once i got a good black base on there, um, I think I'm ready to wrap this thing up. All right, that turned out really cool. I think the end result is super nice, and it was super simple. Now, I know I've told you this before, but I really I want you to know that you could do this. Like, I, I, The purpose of my channel is to encourage people to go out there and try it and to do it and to show them how I'm doing it. And again, this is a pretty simple build. I have faith in you that you could do this. So if you're sitting there going like, I just, I don't think I could do it. Go try. 
stop saying I don't think I can. Like, try it. Do it. You got this. It's so awesome. And even, like, this bass, this is so simple. And, again, I think any of you could do this. So, I don't know. I hope I hope you get encouraged. I hope you get inspired. And I hope you go try something awesome. So, hey, let's do some turnaround shots of this. And, as always, it's a great day to be a toy nerd. Have a great one.